Is this a cure? Yes or no? Oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> because for me, I still have sickle cell disease because I still have hemoglobin S flowing through me. Yeah. So so it is not a cure. Definition, it, I can't say it's a cure because I still yeah. have sickle cell disease. But yeah. I don't feel it at all. You know, I don't feel like I have sickle cell disease at all. So, yeah, that's a tough question. And particularly because they did not cure the sickle cell mutation. That's why I'm creating sickle cells. So it's hard to call it a cure, even though I do feel cured. One word that we've been using is like a functional cure or, you know, there, there's yeah. several ways you, you can try and word it. But by definition, it's not a cure. Yeah, and th th thank you for clarifying that because I, I, I just felt like a lot of people marketed it as a cure to kind of, you know, make it get more clicks and whatnot, which I, I completely understand, though. Like, the most important thing is that you don't get any crises, you know. Uh, so have you had any exactly. crises, Jimmy, or since you've gotten this uh, treatment? And how long have you had this treatment for? Like, when did you get this treatment? Because uh, yeah. this is also provides some context for people. Absolutely. I had the... Uh, the treatment room four years ago uh, and I have not experienced any crisis since then um, my lifestyle has completely changed um, in terms of what I can do compared to what I can't do uh, so one of the things you said at the um, outset of this call is that I'm a tech entrepreneur now I'm no longer a tech entrepreneur now I'm buying physical brick and mortar businesses which was out of my reach before because there was no way I could live with the stress of managing retail businesses yeah. now i'm able to do that you know i'm able to run from one building to another i have now i'm buying businesses on main street so i'm i'm hopping around on my different businesses and yeah. sweating like a penny like you see yeah, yeah and i'm able to handle all of that you know before uh, uh my i had a i didn't still have an e-commerce and you know ship out, i'll go in the warehouse and i'll help my team ship stuff out and two days later i can't get out of there that's mm -hmm. how bad it was you know every time we would ship something particularly in december q4 when it was a busy season for shipping and i'm and you need extra hands because it's q4 you need extra hands every time well. i go in and i help the team out ship it will literally take me two or three days to recover i would literally be in bed for three days and now I'm doing that and more, and I, I don't need any recovery time. Bro, that is incredible, man. Like this is this is so like incredible, and I'm I'm so glad that you are sharing this because I think the biggest thing that people with sickle cell need is as actual hope. And you know, hearing this from you is giving me a lot of hope, just, not just for myself, but just for people with sickle cell and everyone going through it. Because every time, you know, we hear about different medications and different therapies coming out, but it's either it's too expensive or they make it, it's, they market it as something a lot more effective than it actually is. But to actually hear something that's a one-time treatment that can actually long-term help you now, you said you've never had any crises. That is, that is incredible, man.